Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to answer the question, what are CSS custom properties? And for this purpose, I created a project with two elements, code and, um, and output, and an empty style sheet. And now I would like to create two element selectors. One is, uh, will select the code and the other one the output. So now uh, let's imagine we would like to style it a bit and make the color red as the background color. Do the same here. So, and now both are red. The problem is, what if I will have to change, you know, the red color to slightly more red or orange? I will have to identify all the places places, and replace the red with uh, with the new red. So, um, instead of doing this, we could also def uh, define a property at the top level. And um, in this particular case, I will uh, introduce a variable with the name airhex color and now define it here as red. So instead of using the red directly, I will use it indirectly via the variable. So in, for this purpose, I can just uh, use here airhex color and the fallback is going to be yellow. And in this particular case, um, it's um, var and the, um, and the airhex color, airhex color is going to be blue. So uh, now we have both is red, but now what I can do, I can change the red to something else, let's say orange. And now it is orange. And if the variable is not available, so if I change the name, the fallback kicks in. So uh, the CSS custom properties are not limited to colors. So what I can also do is say airhex, uh, I can define, for instance, font size, which is airhex uh, size, and this is 2 em. And um, now let's imagine we introduce here font size with the same idea, var and uh, airhex size. And now let's make it larger. Eight, uh, or let's say 4 em is, is, is large enough. And uh, then, so we have the font size, both are 4 em. So, um, so if I just misspell that, so the property is not, uh, not available. So now we see the default, which is 4 em. And if I misspell the color, we get, you get the yellow and blue. So these are CSS custom properties. They are also a very useful to style a web components and shadow DOM. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming uh, live events, ehex Live, ehex.io, ehex.com, projects, conferences, or at Twitter, at least Adam Bean. So thank you and bye.